Hey everyone, today we're doing another makeup video and this one is inspired by possibly my favourite female superhero of all time, Wonder Woman. Now Wonder Woman has always been one of my favourites, I love her comics, I just love her character, I love her relationships and her interactions with other characters and superheroes and she has some of the best villains I think. Um, and so today we're going to be doing loads of nerdy comic book talk as I do a makeup look inspired by the one and only Wonder Woman. A couple of things before I get started, if you're interested in the products, products I'm using, everything is going to be listed down in the description below. I am trying my best to use as much cruelty free and vegan products as possible, um, but there are a few bits that I haven't had a chance to replace yet because I'm, I'm kind of building up my cruelty free collection. But there's a whole kind of like explanation of that over in my Starfire makeup video if you want to go and watch that. Again, I'll link that in the description below. I really recommend you go check that out. I am going to be skipping over a few of the basics of things I'm doing with my skin because I've mentioned it again in that Starfire video. I'm going to be concentrating mostly on the Wonder Woman-y side of things. Other things are I'm makeup free at the minute but you might notice my eyebrows look okay because I've recently had them tinted. I, I say had them tinted, I tinted them myself at home. The makeup look we're doing today, inspired by Wonder Woman, is probably the most ambitious one in this series so far. I'm going to be doing some stuff that I've never done before and it may go very, very wrong. So let's just see what happens. I'm actually going to start with the eyes and what we're going to try and do, I'm going to explain this to you now so if it goes wrong you'll at least have some idea of what I was trying to do along the way. So what I want to do is I want to do blue up here above the crease but I'm going to use these little star stickers to try and get a kind of cut out effect if that makes sense and then I'm going to do a cut crease and red on the lid and then maybe we'll add in some blue and red eyeliner as well. I know, I know, it's, it's like a lot, it's crazy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off because I'm no expert when it comes to makeup. I'm just like a woman muddling along but We'll see how it goes and we're going to try this together, okay? Other things, the nails I'm wearing for this look are from Primark. They're the flame set. They were these really gorgeous like uh, square tipped red nails that I've actually trimmed down and filed to a nice rounded tip because practical stuff. You can't do anything with long nails, at least I can't. I'm not an actual Wonder Woman. So I'm going to start by just priming my face with some of this Revolution Pro pore primer and then I'm going to prime my eyes with the NYX white eyeshadow base as well. I'm going to speed this bit up because it's going to be a little bit boring for you guys. I've zoomed in now so you can see a little bit more detail, don't get freaked out, I know. I'm going to use these eyeshadow covers, they're normally used for catching like fallout here on the cheek of like your eyeshadow and stuff, but I'm going to use it, I've trimmed the edges to be completely flat, I'm going to position them under my eye around about here. So when I put the eyeshadow on, this is going to leave a really nice flat strong edge to the eyeshadow, kind of like a flick, I want something really strong, really defined kind of using Wonder Woman's armour as an inspiration, you know, I want these really strong lines and it'll make sense when you see it done. So I'm just going to apply these to my face now. Don't judge me if I look silly. Say if. Definitely look silly. So I'm mostly focusing putting this here where I want this strong line here. So it's kind of close to my eye and it feels really weird. Now, screenshot this and tell me I look pretty. You know, to all those critics who always say like, oh, you're so self-conscious, why do you wear makeup, you're so vain, you're so... Th Show them this. Alright, now I am gonna take a really nice fluffy brush. Let's go with you, you look nice. Okay, now I'm gonna take a fluffy NYX blending brush and my Revolution Pro um, Trends Mischief Matte Regeneration Palette. Big name. Um, I'm gonna take the colours Crusade in here and then Indication. It's basically the light blue and the dark blue. I'm going to start with the light blue building it up on my crease and then towards the actual crease itself I'm going to go with the dark blue. Oh no wait, what I need to do first, pop some stars on. So hopefully I'll have these little cutouts afterwards um, if I can figure out how to open these. These stars aren't anything fancy, they're just stickers from W.H. Smith. I have no plan to this so I'm just going to take some of the little gold ones like apply them up here, kind of above my brow bone. Basically these are going to try and 
be like the stars that you sometimes see on Wonder Woman's armor, but they're going to be cutouts. And I I don't know if this is going to work. I'm mostly just going to start by like patting it over the stars. So if you're one of those weird people who's never read a Wonder Woman comic, what are you doing with your life? Get them read. They're so good. I can't believe I didn't discover Wonder Woman for so long. I feel like I really missed out. She is amazing. And if you've only ever like seen the film or whatever, then again, you're missing out. There's so much more to Wonder Woman than that. I mean, the film was pretty good though. But, like I put off seeing the film for so long because I didn't want to be disappointed. And I actually wasn't. I thought it was really, really good. You know, the most recent one. <laughs> One of the reasons I really love Wonder Woman is because she's never afraid to, like, go out of her way to, like, do what she thinks is right. She'll say whatever she wants and do whatever she wants as long as she thinks she's doing the right thing and she has, like, these really strong morals and she's always willing to stick up for people. I really love that. A lot of people view her as this, like, feminist icon, but I don't think... I mean, I think she is, but I don't think you need to see her that way if you don't want to. She's just... A really awesome, strong, good person. I'm going to switch to a little of this shade of blue here from the I Heart Revolution Mermaid Hearts palette. You might have seen this in the Aquaman video, I used it quite a lot. We should switch to this shade of kind of like a metallic-y, almost like a gun, no, it's not a gunmetal blue. I'm not sure what kind of blue it is, but I'm gonna use a bit of that to kind of try and help blend these two shades together a little bit. That should be good for the blue. So now I'm gonna take a little flat brush and go back in with my a NYX white eyeshadow base and cover the entire lid with white and then like fold my eyes closed and wait for it to dry. It's kind of like, I think this is like a cut crease kind of thing, I don't really know. All I know is I want a nice flat line between the blue and the red. Again, trying to replicate the kind of like the curves and the straight lines of the armour and things like that. It's still a bit tacky, but it's mostly dry, and I look ridiculous, obviously. So now I'm going to take the um, Obsession Be Very Afraid palette. They released this for Halloween, I think, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And take this red shade here, Spooked. And I'm going to start applying this, ah, oh, crapsy, smudge some of the white already. But I'm going to start applying this all over the white, just into the crease. I'll tidy up that white in a minute. Yeah, this isn't looking great at the minute, but I'm hoping when I take this off and take everything off, it's going to all kind of come together. Well, we'll see. And now on top of that, I'm going to use a little bit of this shade from the uh, Revolution Pro palette in Half Time. It's a red one. I'm actually going to use the same flat brush. And just go in to try and add a little bit more, um, I guess, of a lighter red in places. I'm going to use some of the uh, Barry M Flawless Mist and Fix Makeup Setting Spray in the matte finish to try and set this a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do something crazy and I'm going to attempt to take off these stars. Oh. That's actually worked. Damn it. Look at that. I'm going to take these off. Oh my god, look, it actually worked. That actually worked. Ah. <gasps> Sorry, I'm a little shocked. Kind of didn't expect it to. Look at that. Wow, okay. Um, 
good stuff. All right, and now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the halftime red under my eyes. This actually doesn't look half bad. Wow, okay. Um, wasn't exactly expecting this to work, but I'm not complaining at all. Okay, um, God, what was I gonna do next? <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of the Barry M Glitter Bomb uh, Glitter Eyeshadow in, what shade is this? Bling is a little gold shade. So I'm going to use a little bit of this in the corner of my eye. Now I'm going to use the NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Liners. Uh, this is a blue shade. Uh, Vivid Sapphire it's called. I'm going to use this to line my lid. So go over the red and line my lid next to my eyes. Uh, next to my lashes. Then. I'm also getting kind of Captain America vibes from this as well, but it's not exactly a good thing because he is the world's worst superhero. I just don't like Captain America, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, now I'm very quickly going to do my skin. I'm going to zoom out for this one as well. Actually, while I am doing this, I can talk to you about, um, so one of my favourite, uh, I think maybe, I wouldn't exactly say Wonder Woman stories, but Wonder Woman appearances, uh, wasn't actually in a Wonder Woman comic, but Batwoman, um, in the New 52 Batwoman comics, if you've not read them, they're absolutely fantastic and thoroughly underrated, uh, they have some of the best art I've ever seen in any superhero comics ever, they're wonderful, wonderful. But yeah, Wonder Woman teams up with Batwoman, who again is just an underrated superhero. And together, I think they make an amazing team. They travel through the labyrinth together, they go on all these little adventures and they help each other out. And I just think it's a really, really fantastic story, which is, it's really underrated and not enough people have read, but it's really, really cool. Another thing that I really love about Wonder Woman are her scenes with Superman. I thought putting Wonder Woman and Superman together would be like a little bit cliche or a little bit predictable, but I kind of love them together because they just sort of, they just kind of get each other and they both kind of had the same struggles. They both know what it's like to be part of the Justice League and have all this pressure on them and have people expecting a lot of them and I think they're really good for each other. All right, that's my foundation done. Um I want a really nice kind of rosy red blush and I don't know if I have one. Oh, do you know what we could do actually? Oh, okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Here we go. I'm gonna use, this is really old, I, I barely even wear this now. This is an old, I think it's maybe Revlon, I don't know, the, yeah, it's Revlon Color Burst Balm Stain. This is a lip product, but I'm gonna rub a little bit on my fingers and then use it, if I can kind of buff it into the cheeks a bit use it to create a really nice red rosy blush. This might take a bit of working because it's a little bit sticky, but this could look quite pretty. For lashes, because I have no lashes, I'm using this L'Oreal Double Extension Mascara. Basically one end is a little primer, the other end is a black liquid that's kind of lengthening. I have like no lashes naturally. Um, okay, that's a lie, I have them. They're just really light and really flat and really short. And all right, Caribbean. Oh, she's grumbling around on the floor, bless her. So basically when it comes to mascara, anything that's lengthening or volumizing basically just works to make me look a little bit more human. Because naturally I have like nothing there. I remember one video I did, um, I filmed it and I, I barely had any makeup on, just because I wasn't in the mood to put it on, you know, so I was like, just, just film without much. I did my eyebrows, I put some mascara on, I used a little bit of concealer to like, stop me looking so tired, and maybe I put a coat of lipstick on, I'm not sure, but I was like, oh, you know, I look fine, I look human. And then this one guy comments, he's like, are you okay? You look really ill. I mean, maybe it's because you're not wearing any makeup, but you look ill. And I was like, oh god. Is this what my natural face looks like? Hey, yeah, Grandpa Bear. Yeah. Love you. We love you. Another thing I really love about Wonder Woman, like comics and stories, um, are her different kind of origin stories. Um, you know, there have been a few different ones and they're all usually the same, but the bits where she like finds out that her mother lied to her about her birth and she's actually like the daughter of a god and stuff. I just think they're like, they're so fun to read because it's such a sort of 
character defining moment for her because she spent her whole life with this one belief and then to find out that the people you trust the most and who you based your whole identity around kind of lied to you I think is a really huge thing and also in stories where Wonder Woman just has to step up and like lead an army or her people and like you know well you know be a leader I think they're really good as well because they really show you her strengths but also her vulnerabilities because I think you know like most people Wonder Woman she worries she's not good enough, she worries what people are going to think about her and stuff at times. Um, I think seeing her overcome that is something that's really kind of like good and helpful for for all people, not just women, you know? I'm just going to tidy up some of this blue a little bit. Alrighty, and one of the finishing touches, um, I'm going to use this, it's, oh my god, I got this yesterday and it was one of my favourite products ever now. It's the uh, Revolution Pro Supreme Matte lip pigment in the color spiritual it's a matte lip product uh, it's a red shade i thought it would be perfect for wonder woman you know something like really strong and powerful but also feminine um, and also it goes with like a traditional um red outfit but this it, it goes on so smoothly it feels so good on your lips it's oh it's the first time i used this i was like this is going to be a favorite and it is Just look how gorgeous and pigmented this is and it feels so soft and silky on your lips. It's not drying like a lot of matte products are. I love this so much. I do feel like Wonder Woman needs a little more. Maybe I could attempt some false lashes. Um, I'm so bad with false lashes though. Alright, I've got this little super drug set that annoyingly isn't... Well, it doesn't say that it's cruelty free, so I'm not going to recommend them. But they're the only ones I have left at the moment. Thing is, I have really small eyes, and false eyelashes always look ridiculous on me. I'm, I'm going to use like the medium size actually. I'm going to measure them out on my eye, and then I'm going to trim them down a lot. See, I need to, I need to take like a third of it off. Maybe I'm just like abnormally small. All right, here's a question for you guys. Because you only ever see me on camera, right? And you don't really see me stood up or next to anyone else or anything like that. Um, how tall do you think I am? There's a, there's a little test to be. Apparently I'm like a really weird height because when I was at school I was always told like oh I'm really short and I'm really this and me 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 and everyone made fun of me for being really short and stuff right and then like I came to uni and everyone was like you're just normal I was like I know this is what I've been telling everyone I'm a normal height um and then I met Dan and he's like you're really tall and he has it in his head that I'm like five foot ten or something and I'm not so have a guess how tall do you think I am? Right, let's try and apply these and probably screw it up. It's not the worst thing in the world, right? I can get away with this. Yeah. I know I said in my last video I'd love to see more like um Wonder Woman and Aquaman teams team ups. I think that would be amazing and like collaborations between those two. Another thing I'd like to see more of is uh Wonder Woman and the Flash. That would be lots of fun. I'd love that. I love the Flash. Again, he's one of my favourites. Oh, this one's not got as much gone as well as the other one. Hang on, let's try this one again. Trim a bit more off and try it again. It's, I think it's a bit too long. I love all the um, Wonder Woman stories as well that take from Greek mythology and where she actually like either fights the gods or works alongside the gods and things like that. I think that's really cool. In the uh, New 52 arc, in, in the beginning, like the first sort of, actually the first like maybe 20 issues or so, like, something like that, they have a really big, long, ongoing storyline where she's like, trying to rescue a baby that's the son of Zeus. No, get close enough, that'll do. Um, and yeah, she's trying to like save the baby from Hera, and there's like, I, I don't want to give too many spoilers away, but there's some really cool and exciting stuff that happens. And she basically, she either visits or fights all the gods, and even like the minor gods as well, not just the big main Olympians. And it's really, really cool. Also the art style in those issues is really awesome. It's very different from kind of what you expect from DC, but I absolutely loved it and thought it was fantastic and um, really, really sort of creative and inventive. And I liked it a lot. There we go. You know, I'm going to take my hair down. But yeah, I'm I'm going to call this Wonder Woman inspired look done now, I think. Yeah, I, I'm quite happy with this. It's not the neatest one. It doesn't look the best on camera, annoyingly. It does look better in real life than on camera. Um, I feel like I say that a lot. <laughs> um, it's, it's not my favourite one. I think I still prefer the Aquaman one and the Starfire one, but it's definitely my most um, ambitious one. And I'm definitely proud that I managed to, like, even 
make something that even remotely looks like what I had in my head. <laughs> I'm really happy about that because I didn't expect myself to. I thought I was going to screw this up really, really badly. So the fact that I've even like managed to do anything that's even remotely wearable is is a win for me. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Let me know what your favourite Wonder Woman either comics or TV or film moments are down in the comments below. I love Wonder Woman so much. She's fantastic. Let me know who your favourite Wonder Woman bad guy is because I haven't really covered that. Like, villains like Cheetah I think are amazing, but I'm going to leave that there. Let me know who your favourite Wonder Woman villain is down in the comments. I've got two more DC inspired makeup looks for you guys. If you can guess who they are, then I will be very impressed. One person actually guessed every single one I was going to do, even before I gave you the colour hints, and I was like, stop knowing me so well. And it was a random person, and they got it spot on, and I was like, oh my god. So I'm going to give that person a shout out in my final video when I've revealed uh, the other two people I'm going to be doing makeup inspired looks from. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous for one of them. One of them is kind of straightforward, but it's going to be very, very cool, very kind of glitzy and metallic. The other one could go very wrong because it's a lot of dark colours and I'm useless with dark colours and stuff and I just, I don't know what's going to happen, but I think if I can pull it off, it's going to be really, really, really cool. So we're going to see what happens there. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I feel this video has been a little like kind of more all over the place than my usual videos. I don't know. It, mm, um, it's been a day of experimenting and trying things out for me and is it? kind of worked out-ish I think mm. <laughs> um, but anyway thank you so much for watching today I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you again soon thank you so much for everyone who's supporting my channel this month especially everyone supporting me on patreon including Gambit and his chauffeur Dave Sean, Mark Darner, Christian Berg, Rachel B. Royer, Jaden Shepard, Jaylee Moore, Religions BS, Sir Michael Moore, Christian Opitz, Sage Villarreal, Greg Ladd and Spencer Young you're all seriously amazing and I can't thank you enough. Also check out everyone else mentioned on the end screen here and down in the description below. And if you've got a little bit of spare time and you want to check out my merch store then uh, you know you can, you can do that if you want, no pressure.